Um, what I'm going to be doing today, and this is going to be interesting to see how it goes, I'm going to be trying to do a solo plat, um, attempting one. I have another attempt that I put up already. Things got a little hairy in there. I made kind of a dumb mistake, I guess you could say. I don't even know if really my concentration is on point for a full solo plat right now. But we're going to try and run it, um, see how far we get. Uh, I also made a few changes to this. So the sticky bomb that I would normally use is this one. Um, blast radius, status effect duration. It is going to change a few things in terms of how my poison works, which I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that. We'll see what happens and whether I'm okay with the effect or not. With this one, though, I should be able to get cooldown reduction on kill and be able to get my sticky bomb back faster in addition to having Lucky to bring it back as well. So I just want to see how this is going to run. So yeah, we're going to give it a shot, see what happens. The blast radius is also going to be a little bit lower than normal because it's only at 19%. So that's going to be a bit of a handicap too. So we'll see how all of that kind of measures out in real time. Um, let's go ahead and get it done. And as I get better at it, I'm probably going to remove perfect parry window and switch to melee damage because I'm noticing that a lot of the time with the spearmen, I can actually just dodge them by jumping instead of actually worrying about parrying, which changes circumstances a bit. But so we're just going to do this, see what happens. Uh, I may get a good battlefield, I may get a horrible battlefield, and we'll see how the, all this works out. Okay, we got Blood in the Snow. Um, one thing, Blood in the Snow doesn't have ammo refills. That hurts me a bit because of the fact that I tend to use bombs. But we'll see how it all kind of kind of measures out in the wash. And see, that's how you can use that Master's Katana to effectively put yourself in a good position to be able to combo off of things on opponents. There we go. He's down. We're going to take you out first. Tengu Archers are annoying as all get out. Then we'll put a little bit of damage down there. We have multiple concussion bombs that are still laying around. So we'll take advantage of that. We're going to get out of that. Follow our man here. Toxic Vantage will refill long before we actually need it again, so I'm fine with burning it for right now. Jump that. There we go. So that's clear. We wait for the circle to close here, then we'll go to the next one. I normally hit outpost then mine, so we'll go that way. You see a Tengu down there? We're gonna take him out. So he's out of the way. Then we'll go after Big Spearman. So I already have my smoke bomb back, right? So. There we go. aren't letting up so we'll do that to just stop their stop their offense a bit see that's why I meant by the toxic vanish would come back fast enough to where I could still very much use it switch stances I could have just parried it normally but I just chose the switch stances in that instance there we go he should die from the poison. Yep. Oh, it looks like there's one. There's there can tend to be that one hiding over here. Okay, so he's a he's a purple sphere. Here. So we're definitely gonna cheat with the sticky bomb first. So we don't even have to worry about fighting like that. There we go. It's 
So that one's down. Side note, let's stop really quickly. So the best ones that we're going to be able to probably use on this battlefield is going to be Ignite Enemies and sometimes the Spirit Bear and, of course, the Spirit Dogs. Um, this is good for healing in the event that you need it. Uh, when we'll have to see whether we need that or not as we go. And as I said, since there's no real bomb ammo thing, I'm going to have to be careful and conserve my ammo because it's, of course, going to help me throughout this whole process. Um, I'm going to take the Tengu out because the Tengu's in a bad position. Then we'll take out one of the archers there. Oh, well, that's nice. Decided to run. Alright. We're gonna go after him. There we go. Nope. Nope. They're seriously not giving the chance brother a chance. That one, since we're not dealing with aggressive enemies, you can just wait the half pause, and then that way you can strike them. Nope. I don't even know what kind of weird backward turn that was. He had the power of the spins with him. So that's mine captured. So now we just have to wait. Um, I almost have my smoke bomb back and my sticky. So that'll work to my advantage. Clean the blood off the sword. And then we wait. I will not be trying to keep all of the circles. I will purposefully let circles go if need be. Um, I'm not trying to do a perfect run. Uh, and I'm also not worrying about bonus objectives, but that I'm there too. So, there's a choke point right here. I'm going to wait until most of the enemies have hit that choke point, if at all possible. Better yet, I may just, I may just hit them with this from the beginning. The poison can sit there and help me get rid of the majority of the enemies outright. And then... So it looks like camp will be the one that I keep. There's going to be no time to really sit there and run around trying to go to the other area. So I'll go straight to camp. Okay, they're going to mine. I'll have a bit of time if I hurry it up. Oh, that was a bad toss. Now see, the fact that he can hit me, even when that's the case, is just insanity. Such an annoying trait of those daggone things. So, we're gonna be playing with slightly reduced health. We will make up for it. Yep. It's all good. As I said, I will make up for it. Him, him. Crowd no mai ni, mukuro ga tsugi tsugi to tsumi katsunaru. Yeah. 
It's just him now. Definitely wasn't the greatest situation, but it is what it is. We'll make it work. They're gonna be coming from here. I'm not even gonna stop right now and deal with them. We're gonna hide for now and let them get to the circle. Or at least we'll meet whichever group comes first to the circle. I'm gonna try and take two out at once with the poison and throw a smoke bomb down and kind of attack from within that too. So we'll let them filter in. Um, actually, it'd probably be better for me to go up. Uh, yeah, should be a latch right up here. Okay, and see now that group is gonna come in. So we can't wait until it gets more than half full, because that's dangerous. So we'll be making the jump in right about now. And we'll go ahead and hit this guy. Then we put down our smoke, and we actually got lucky. Literally, we got the bonus lucky to proc, which is pretty nice. That is beautiful. Look at that. That is beautiful. Ow. I honestly thought that I had enough range there. That's my mistake. Whoop. Can't get out the circle too far. That's how well things go when everything works. <laughs> um, sometimes they'll work like that, so. All right, I don't think we can jump up there from any side. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we can reach that. So again, we're just gonna go back up here, hide out for a bit. Wait until all of them get in. So we have enemies coming from outpost. Something else that I could be doing is taking them out with barrels. But something that I still haven't figured out, even to this day, is how reliable the barrel refresh rate is. Because sometimes it seems to be reliable and sometimes it doesn't. So I don't really like dealing with that. And of course, I wouldn't really want to waste barrels this early either. So same as before, we let the circle mostly fill. Uh, we'll let it get to about halfway. Looks like the other group's coming from camp too. So this looks like about the time that we can go ahead and make our debut. Pretty much any of these enemies are viable. We'll go ahead and put that down. And we'll start the fight from in there. Big dude. Nope. Nope. Alright. Nope. Ooh. 
accurately hit, please. Thank you. Just waiting for that moment where everything lined up. Alright. So we're done there. And as I said, I don't know barrel refresh rate. I wish I did. If I really knew that for sure, then I mean that would immensely help any of this kind of stuff. Because again, one barrel can change the entire flow of a wave but I never really know what the situation is with barrels so for this one I know that I'm going to want barrels in place for wave 9 um, no matter what I'm going to want barrels in place for wave nine. so since we got the, the zones back I'm going to go kind of head these guys off at the pass um, since there are Tengu involved Definitely going to want to put myself in a position to where I can at least destroy the majority of their offense. This time we'll lose camp. I don't think I'll be able to finish these guys off in time. A lot of enemies to deal with, especially not without being without being without having the being able to go to like layer my poison. Way too many enemies to deal with in a short period of time. Nope. Ow. Yeah, not time for anything else. Oh. Okay, so I gotta speed things up, otherwise I'll be dealing with another place that's lost. And I still might not wind up being able to finish them before that point, just because of the fact that this is a lot of enemies to deal with. I can't make that in time, so we'll just feel with them coming back this way. And so this tends to be the reason why I want the health, health increase, because that allows me, you know, be able to deal with enemies without letting as many through. Now I'm going to cheat a bit here. Okay. Oh, I'll cheat here too. They want to be cheap. I'll be cheap. Alright. Um, let's see what I can do. Okay. So, since they're coming here anyway, it's just better to just go ahead and hide somewhere. And just let them get in the circle. Oh, all right. Never mind. They saw me. Nope. Take 
him down with one hit. hit by the fire. This should be wave six, I think, coming up. And we'll need the extra uh, points for when we go to wave nine, because we'll need ignite on wave nine. That's the reason I like it when you have ammo refill. Ammo refill is much easier. Like most maps with ammo refill, it's a lot easier to beat them. Because you have the, the extra the added benefit. Ammo refill costs like what, 200 points? versus anything over there really costs 400 at the minimum. So you have to be very careful about the items that you use. We're gonna need either Ignite or the dogs for the Tengu wave, which I'm thinking, I don't know. I may use, I don't know what I'm gonna use. I really don't. I may use Ignite because it's faster to get rid of the Tengu and it'll get rid of most of them off top. So I'm thinking I may use that. Same as before, we're gonna wait until about a third uh, well, not even the third, but about halfway through. So they saw me, so that means game time. So, I'll go ahead and put this to good use. Ow! See, that's the only thing, is that if you stand by and you even take a bit of too much time to think, all of a sudden, your whole battlefield will turn into people coming and swiping you from the last instant out of nowhere. Ow. No. Now see, again, I didn't ask to go that way. And that range, the range on that attack completely screwed my life up. Okay. Now I sit there and dodge back over that way. Now I've at least given myself my health back, but now I can't lose the circle. Alright. Nope. It's literally just trying to give yourself some breathing room. Get back in the circle. that not hit is my question like some of the mechanics in this game just be 
confusing mess out of me. It's like, oh, okay. You use the, you use the, the, you know, what, what would that be? Um, that would be like a leaning or a launching kick, and that kick does nothing. It just literally whiffs past your opponent, even though he was right there, like right in front of you. It makes no sense. We're gonna go ahead and use this. We're gonna bring a barrel over here close by. Because my intention is to roll this barrel into outpost. I think outpost is where I want to set up my stand. So I will probably filter the enemies from camp over. That's like, please explain to me how he still had, you know, room to be doing the most. And again, this is why people will just go ahead and just cheat and use Spirit Lunai. Because it's easy. Literally, the enemy has gotten afraid to want to come in. Dead. All right, we'll make him stumble back a bit, and then we'll inject some poison. Ow, that was me being overzealous, I guess. And the thing that's interesting again about this game is that, you know, auto targeting is not great in the event when things are happening. So you have to constantly be aware of the fact that your targeting can go all kinds of awry. That's like, how did that not work? At that range, how did that not work? Seriously? That's like, I'm, sometimes I'm up here tapping the run button, and it's like run doesn't work at the speed that I expect it to. But, I mean, it is what it is, you know. And then you have to sometimes wonder, is it you? Is it the game? Is it the controller? Who knows? <laughs> can't get mad over stuff that you can't change. Alright. So... As I said, we're going to make Outpost the spot we hold. So I'm going to go ahead and actually head in the direction of Outpost. Um, Right. 
クロードの人種が少しずつ破られる。Kind of annoying. That should have actually stopped him, but whatever. Definitely cheating on this one. So, with this, we have bunches of Tengu, because this is Murder of Crows. And we shall see. This will either will either get past this, or this will stop our run. Because um, this has to be like one of the worst portions, because again, you have the Crows situation. And there's really not a good place to hide in this. Um, it's kind of a mess to try and hide. Yeah, I think I can hide here and hopefully get away with it. So let's just let them file in. My hope is I can get the majority of them off of the first barrel. Uh, and then I should have, yeah, I have poison too and I have ignite. So that's going to be my aim as to how we're going to deal with this. All right. So we're going to toss in one. Then we're going to go invisible. Now we just got to find somebody. Then we're going to give them a bit more bang bang. Let's, let's cover ourselves right now. Because if anybody can see me, it's basically game. Then we're going to activate Ignite 2. So, definitely at this point, the Tengu are down. And that was the whole point of this. Now, if he does not figure out how to use the movement that I'm trying to use, I swear for everything holy. Alright. How? You saw that. Even in the moment of me using the attack, the thing was going to sit there and change its trajectory to still hit me. Yo. 
が頼みとした仲間と刃の錆となり果てた。手こずっちゃった。So we made it. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. Alright. So I have 700 at this point. So the next step will be to kind of live through this next section. And again, I, I do believe that it's that by using the combination of,、um, of these two. So see, this time the barrels replenished. That's the thing that makes no sense to me about it. The barrels reappear here. So I don't know. Because I've had situations where the barrels don't come back. Alright. So I'm gonna hide somewhere and let them get in. Alright. I don't know if I can make it in time. Yep, I won't make it in time. Nope. Wasn't my intention, but we'll make our defense from here. It is what it is. Gotta do what you have to do sometimes. So I'm gonna quickly disappear. I'm gonna let them get in. They can keep trying to shoot stuff that doesn't work. Said、we have ignite for wave 12. At this point, it's basically the same thing as before. We just pick a spot, hold up, and then we kill him. I'm a little wary to use more than too many barrels, so I'm still going to try and survive this wave without using a single barrel. And then,、um, what I'll try and do is collectively use a barrel per wave to get through to the end. Once we get past the,、uh, the last part, because I should have enough at that point. 
there's one, two, three, four barrels. So from wave 12 forward, we're using barrels plus ignite to get through. So let's let them go ahead and pile in. All right, that looks like enough folks. Disappear. Go after one of them on the outside here. Activate. Set up. We'll use one more black powder to bring out, get rid of some of the others. Alright. Really wasn't trying to get any of them. I hate how the Oni dude's the one who wants to sit there and not put himself in the best position to be able to kill him. Now see, I promise that I press. Again, it's one of those things where the controls start to feel like they're slipping when you're having to press too fast. So it's one of those things where you gotta be cognizant of everything. I'ma just let the circle fill in a bit. And then let me see if any of these items over here black powder which they're not i'll make it work we have a boss wave coming so see this is how i'm going to handle that we'll just take this one barrel put them in here so this one's burning blades so that means i can't afford to get hit by jack deadly so to be honest, I'm going to actually cheat a bit. We're going to put two. Because if I get hit at all, I'm going to regret it. So we're going to put two, and then we're going to wait. Sounds like it's animals in here too, yeah. I don't think it's bears in this one. I don't even know if this one has bears. I think they have bears. Yeah, they have bears on last wave. Uh, and they're taking a million years to get across, so there's that as well. I can't wait any longer. Seriously, why? here the most dangerous enemy on the field isn't even the only it's these daggone archers and 
度の速さに敵の目は追いつけない。600. If we're lucky, we may even be able to get two items, but I don't think that'll happen.、Um, I'm gonna get the spirit dogs, and I'm also going to get the、uh, ignite if I can afford it by the time it's time. So let's see what happens. You know, we just had the refresh. And so I see this barrel still here, but see, notice that there are barrels now that aren't here anymore. So see, that's the thing: is that you do actually lose your barrels. You do. So that's an interesting conundrum to me as to how this kind of works. Now look at this! Look at this! That's not even anywhere near where the frick I'm aiming. Oh! Yay! I'm out of ammo. Yeah, not letting that hit me. Yeah. There's no way. Okay. So they are actually falling to mine. That's that's beautiful. I might actually have a chance to save. All right. One. Two. Drop the dag on smoke bomb. Okay. See, and this is the problem. So flippin' stupid. Okay, I'm gonna need to move this barrel in here. Then, as I said, we'll just have to play it by ear on the last one. We should have one more barrel that we can use on wave 15, which again we will not trigger that until last possible second. I'll need more ammo too. I have to figure out when the heck I can get more ammo. 
I may have to just enter the daggone thing. Yep, I don't have time. I'll wait hard, but didn't have time for that. Thought that they were about to ignore the fact that I had put it down there. Night. Let's move. Let them get in there. That of course, technically speaking, having dogs in may not actually be as helpful as I thought it was. Ooh, ooh. I can just find a way to create a safe space. My word, this mess is crazy. Alright, let's close the circle. Please tell me why the hold button that I'm trying to do is not working as I expected. 
ロードは手ごわい敵どもを打ち倒しただが誠の勝利へと至る道は長くさらなる敵が待ち受けているああ、メンタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッ